Hi guys, I'm back. This is Sunil here. So we're going to be talking about time off or we're going to be talking, we'll be talking about the leave types. So how to view the different leave types and how to create. So we will see an important thing. Uh, today we have an important exercise transaction. So how to create different leave types. So before that, first of all, let me show you and then we will talk. So let's just say view uh, leave, right? View leave type. So what exactly is leave type guys? So what is leave type? Leave type is uh, maternity leave, paternity leave. I have not taken either of them. <laughs> Just kidding. And uh, uh, you know what are the different sick leaves. Then you've got a vacation. Then you get many different leaves. Let's say you're leaving a country uh, for, or let's say you're taking a leave for six months. Then there are different, different type of leaves. So let's see them here. So you see here leave family. So you see some are active some are inactive okay we're gonna we're not gonna be talking about inactive let's just say leave family so it's nothing but it's a category so if i click on that thing then you will see company wise company wise leave okay jury duty bewilderment and if i say family leave then there are different types of family leave like uh, paternal leave uh, paternity maternity leave right so that's a family type of leave the leave type is family then you've got a medical leave which will have of course the sick leave illness that's nothing but the sickness hospitalization there's a difference between um, hospitalization and injury right so i <laughs> i think you can imagine an accident of course so these are different broad categories so in your organization you might not be uh, you might not need all these categories or you might need some you have to create right so first of all let's view some uh, and try to understand then we will see how to create one right so in this exercise in, in this video we will just view this and try to understand which is important and in next exercise we will create it right so let's just view let's say an accident actually you know what i have a uh, long time back <laughs> I have taken a, uh, I've taken a uh, leave on accident. So I know this very much, very well. So let's just talk about this. So see here, so leave family. So that's the category where it belongs. Then leave payment uh, type. So normally we do not use it. It's more of a related to if uh, you are enabling payment for uh, in case someone is on leave. It's uh, slightly strange. You. Uh, might not understand but let's say let's talk about uh, countries like let's say in uh, netherlands or in um, some country so there let's say if you are working and you want to take a vacation for one year then uh, they actually pay you for some part of it some part of the salary they pay you because it's kind of like um, they're just gonna pay you 10 percentage of your total thing and it's instead of firing people they uh, prefer this method so that the guy can join after one year something <clears throat> so something related to that then uh, on leave status visibility so what all this means is so always show right on leave status so it means if a person is on leave then it will show in his window that okay he is on leave and if you want to change it you you can see other things that are there always show never so so this kind of stuff uh, will be there right so that you can play around and you can change it but that's not the important thing and see eligibility criteria yeah see there are two things basically you can actually add more things i will show you how you can add more things so eligibility criteria you can see here country wise so which country uh, remember what it means is now this leave id and this leave type is only eligible for canada it means let's say if you are living in us and you want to apply for this thing you cannot clear right it's very very clear right simple so and enable for worker type worker type it means worker type is employee means you are a permanent employee it means it is not um, eligible for contract contingent employees so if you see here then um, uh, I one second I will show you the different employee types that are there if i go to profile let's say if i go to profile let's just take the david one uh, yeah david martinage okay uh, the employee type regular 
view just say you can see it here or else okay i will do one thing i will uh, in the next session i'm going to create it i think it i'll show it there instead of just um, showing it in a different way why not to show it directly i will show you it in the next session no need to worry uh, just uh, see this leave impacts uh, the what is important is see inactivate worker normally we do not use it so it basically means if someone has taken a leave then uh, you are inactive so you are just an inactive employee so we do not use it payroll effect yes so some type of leaves are the, there for example ibm let's say in ibm uh, you have unlimited sick leaves right so it means that sick leave the payroll role effect will always be no okay for sick leave because it is unlimited but let's say if you're taking a vacation for uh, one two months then in that case that will have impact on payroll it means you will not get um, it is like unpaid leave that's the meaning of that right and benefit effects we'll talk about these things then um, what is more important leave reasons track balance to track balance is basically nothing but let's say uh, in a year you are supposed to take 20 leaves right that's the policy so if you enable this thing here if this is enabled then this can actually track how many leaves that person has taken and you can see that here so that's the reason why we have it here usage additional fields i will we will i will show you how to create the event then uh, you will understand more on these details that we have skip right so this session i'm stopping here right now and the next session we'll be talking about how to create a leave time thanks guys thank you very much